Hi, thank you for joining my webinar, Your Month End Accounts at the Push of a Button. I'm Andrew Lees from Total Enterprise Solutions. If you need any more information or if you would like to query any of the uh, topics that we talk about today or just general advice on your NAV system, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Uh, you can see the numbers 0345 257 8241. Okay, let's have a look at our webinar. So, month end accounts at the push of a button. We're going to be focusing on the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central application. Microsoft Business Central is Microsoft's latest uh, addition to the Dynamics family, and it's your all encompassing ERP solution in a cloud environment, which is run under soft software as a service. So, during the course of this, we'll look at a few things um, that help you produce your accounts at the push of a button. So account schedules being predominantly one. We'll also look at the period end concept and we'll talk about what that is and what that means in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, how to close off these periods. Uh, to do that, we, uh, we uh, adjust the allow postings from the allow postings to in the general ledger setup we can also then bespoke the allow posting from allow postings to in the user setup so you might have a management accountant who actually wants to work in the previous period and you close your ledgers off we'll also have a quick look at the bank reconciliation screen so let's move on So a quick overview of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and the core functionality that you will use in the application. Now, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central has financials, job costing, order processing, inventory and warehouse, manufacturing, service management, and CRM functionality. And it's important to remember that because this is an ERP application, all of these modules functionality is directly integrated into the product, which again helps us produce our month end accounts at the touch of a button. So you don't have disparate systems, you don't have batch postings that you need to uh, to run. So where does Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central sit within the Microsoft Office product stack? If we look at Microsoft and we look at all of their products that we have, you'll see familiar faces in there. You'll see Office, which has your Word, your Excel, your PowerPoint, your OneNote. Uh, many of you will be using Skype for business. These are what Microsoft would consider your productivity tools, where Business Central, uh, 365 for sales, 365 for marketing, project service automation, these are your processes business processes so what microsoft are trying to achieve with giving you these applications is combining your productivity and your business process tools together to make you more efficient and to use the functionality that you use daily so by having my productivity tools and my business processes together, it enables me to be more efficient across multiple devices. So how can I access my Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central? Well, there's a wide range of functionality that you can use. So for example, where you can use the dedicated tablet and the dedicated phone app, as well as using standard methods like the browser client, to access. All of these clients are available through the Windows platform, the iOS and the Android platform. So let's have a look at our demonstration agenda and have a look at the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central application and how we can actually use this to close off periods, 
to get our month end accounts out at the push of a button and how we can then roll forward to the next period. I thought it would be useful as well to look at the bank reconciliation. This is one of the functional areas of the system that allow you to produce your month end accounts at the touch of a button. By having an integrated bank ledger, this enables the system and this will enable you to be more efficient and to get your month end out accounts out at the touch of a button. So, let me open up Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. So, this is my role center. The role center in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central allows me to access all of the relevant places in the system that I need to access to get my business data and to see how my company is performing. So I'm an accountant and I want to produce my last set of accounts for the last period. Now, I actually use account schedules and I'll give you a quick overview of the account schedules. These account schedules allow you to put in your system reports for your balance sheet and your uh, profit and loss accounts. They what you do is you you specify this is my report layout, this is my column layout, and then the data is dynamically updated by the postings in the system. So let's have a look at our income statements. And I'll show you, I'll give this a quick edit so you can see how these are set up. So you can see here, I have my rows, which I'm going to bring through onto my profit and loss report, which is my final one, which will then be used to close off my month end accounts. So here you can see that I'm grouping my income within these set of rows here in the system. What you do is you write a description of what that income line is to you, and then you control it with which accounts you want to bring through. So you can see here that on this line here for my income services, I'm using general ledger accounts 10100. For this line here, income product sales, I'm using general ledger account 102. Zero, zero. So let's have a look and let's run this through and produce my month end profit and loss report for the period. So you can see in this period here for April, I'm I've got one thousand two hundred and thirty six pounds in my income product sales and I've got my cost of sales and also producing my gross profit. So once I know that all of the transactions have been posted into this period and I produce this report for the final time, I can come out of here and I can then go to my general ledger setup because now in my general ledger setup, I want to close off my accounting period. So Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, to close off an accounting period, what you're effectively doing is telling the system that nobody can post between certain dates. This is achieved from the allow posting from and the allow posting to fields in the general ledger setup. So with nothing in these fields, what we're actually saying is that nobody has any restrictions to post in the system. Well, to change this, it's a case of just entering a date into these two fields. So now that we finished the April 2017 period, what we can do is we can say now people are allowed to post from May to the end of May. And what we're effectively doing with these two fields is now saying that the system will only accept postings between these two dates. 
this is important if you use the inventory components and stock functionality in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, because Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central will adjust prior period entries unless you change these values here. OK, so now that we've set this and we've set that only people can post between these two values, what if you have a management accountant and your management accountant needs to post within that previous period? Well, these are achieved through the user setup. This is the global setup. But should you want to be more specific with users, you can go into the user setup. So now you can see that Andrew Lees has a difference allow posting from and allow posting to to the global setting the reason why this is important is because now i can make my accruals and my prepayments for any previous period because i'm still working within that period i've just closed it off from a ledger point of view from a sales ledger a purchase ledger perspective so one of the unique functionalities in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central application is these accounting periods. Here, you can create your bespoke accounting periods. It's not uncommon for people to work on a 445 scenario. So these are where you set these up in the system. You can control the starting date and the ending date of these. OK, now that we've looked at the allow postings from and the allow postings to, and now that we understand that we can actually control which pe uh, period people post in, let's take a look at another good functionality that Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central has in the bank reconciliation. So I'll go back to my role center in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And what I'll do is I'll give you a quick overview of the bank account reconciliation screen and how it can help you reconcile your bank accounts. So I will search for the bank account reconciliation. Here, when we open this bank account reconciliation screen, you can see that we have previous statements on there. What I'll do is I'll create a brand new bank account reconciliation so I can show you how all of the data comes through into the system. The bank account reconciliation screen shows you this header information where you select your bank account. You also select your statement date for which is on your bank account statement. You've got fields to help your reconciliation, like bank balance last statement, statement ending balance. And if we have a look at the screen here, you can see that my bank account statement lines will sit on the left-hand side of the screen. My bank account ledger entries from my system will sit on the right-hand side of the screen. And it's a case of matching these two together to support bank reconciliation. Let's have a look at the functionality that we have at the top. One of the areas to help us support is the suggest lines. Suggest lines will allow you to bring through your bank accounts, ledger entries into the bank's statement lines in case you don't import it. Transfer to journal will allow you to transfer a line from your bank statement that isn't in your bank account ledger entries. For example, bank charges. This will push that line straight onto a general journal for you. Post and post and print to finalize the import. But some unique functionality here is import bank statements. So if you set up your data exchange settings by pushing the import bank statement, you're effectively bringing your bank account statement lines into your bank account reconciliation. Match automatically. Match automatically will run and try and suggest which entries from your bank statement lines and bank account ledger entries to match together. Match manually. We'll do it on a manual basis. 
and remove match will remove the match between the bank statement lines and the bank account ledger entries so there we have a quick look at the bank account reconciliation so thank you for joining my webinar if you've got any further information have any questions on any of the topics that we've discussed today or just general nav questions please feel free to contact me hope you enjoyed this webinar see you later